Welcome to Fright Fest. You're here with uh, Mad Heidi, the UK premier. Have you had a chance to see the film yet? I have had a chance to see the film, yeah. And uh, what do you think the audience are going to make of it? Well, I hope they're going to laugh out loud. It's a very, very funny movie. It's got lots of um, uh, appropriate shocks and uh, 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 lots of action um, and lots of humour. Can you tell us a little bit about the, the role that you play? Well, I'm playing uh, Heidi's grandfather. Um, Heidi's parents lost her parents when she was a baby, so I brought her up. And I live in a nice traditional uh, little hut with a St. Bernard with a keg of brandy around its neck. And my character is actually a very straight character in it, uh, which I think is good because what happens to um, uh, her Heidi's grandfather, what happens to my grandfather, but to me in it, uh, uh, goes a lot of the way uh, to understanding why my Heidi gets mad. I mean, he's also he's got a few secrets in his closet as well, hasn't he? You know, Heidi, during the course of the film, Heidi, you know, discovers some things about him. You know, was that something that appealed to you about the role that he he wasn't just your nicey nice grandpa? He was hiding other things. Well, a any actor with any role in whatever it's in um, uh, always likes to take uh, a, a journey, even if it's only a journey from A to B. But if, that what actors don't much care for is starting out a day and then finishing up a day. So, and if you, of course, have all, but then every actor in every performance should be keeping something secret. Um, but I think, the, yeah, the, the, the writers have put something in there that is a surprise for Heidi. I think the whole film, as much as it you know, purports to be this sort of almost silly propaganda film against cheese, it is also dealing with some really serious issues under the surface. You know, what are you hoping that the audience take, take from that message? Well, I hope they're going to laugh and then I hope they're going to realise that the outrageousness of some of the themes in it uh, are so outrageous uh, because it's an anti-fascist, anti-sexist, anti-racist movie. Uh, and if one looks at it on that level, which of course you don't do during the movie because it's just ridiculous and daft and fun, but on reflection you realise that it's, uh, it's saying some pretty s strong things about, about those three things, fascism, racism, uh, etc. No, I agree. And I guess um, now that Mad Heidi's out in the world, have you got any other projects that you're working on? Uh, I'm, uh, 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 I've got a, a film coming up that I'm going to be going to shoot imminently, um, which is about um, uh, the Mongolian, it's a fantastic movie actually, it's about the Mongolian sweep across Asia uh, with uh, Genghis Khan's grandson. So it's all it's very, really action-packed and we're going to shoot that over in where it happened, over in Hungary. Yeah, that's called Gateway to the West and uh, we'll be out next year. Sounds really exciting. I'm going to let you go and in, enjoy the, uh, in the UK premiere and the, the Fright Fest reaction. Certainly will.